Welcome back. Uh, this is Pilates with April Moon and today we're going to be doing a full body Pilates workout. So grab your mat. Okay, so we're going to start in a seated position. So like we talked about previously in my other video, we are going to be sitting up nice and tall. We don't want to round through that spine. So imagine from the base of the spine all the way up into the crown of the head, we're nice and tall and the wrist can just lightly be placed onto the knees, shoulders down, fingertips relaxed. And we're just going to spend a minute here just relaxing down from our day and take a nice deep breath in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out and now just carry on in your own time Breathe out, not the chin, towards the chest. Don't let the chin actually touch the chest. And then come up and forward. And again, nod. And forward, so breathing in. And breathing out. And up. And come back down. And lift, and now, Right ear over to the right shoulder, stretching out our necks, keep the shoulders down and into the middle and over to the other side. Into the middle and again. And in and out. Good. And now take the chin over past the right shoulder, stretch out the left side of the neck and into the middle and over to the other side. Now just pop the left hand outside of the left thigh, lift the right arm up and then just breathe out, just lean. Now we want space between the ear and the arm, we don't want it to collapse round. So just lift up, look up towards the ceiling if it's comfortable for you in the neck, drop the left shoulder down and slide that hand, lower the right arm, lift up, breathing in. Now breathe out, stretch away, fingertips long, look up. And again, breathing in and slide over and lift up, good, other side. And up, now last time over to the left, take a deep breath in and breathe out, fold over so the chest is going over that left knee and keep the right knee grounding down. Hands can go either side of that knee if you can, if you can't quite get there, just pop fingertips onto the floor, doesn't matter, just keep going however you can go. And trail the hands back up, right hand here, breathe in, breathe out, slide away, and then coming over, chest to the thighs. And sliding back up. Now fingertips in front of the ankles. You don't have to turn, I'm just turning. Just to show you, so breathe in, breathe out, nod. Walk the hands forwards, elbows down if you can. If you can't, don't worry. Drop the head. Remember we do Pilates and we stretch a lot to increase flexibility. You don't have to be flexible to start, remember that, okay? Now, coming in here, 
we're going to pop the elbows into the waist. We're going to breathe in and breathe out, extend the arms out and come back in. So the fingertips are long. So in Pilates, we concentrate on the length of our body, not the height. So you don't want your arms right up in the air, just out to the side. No tension in the shoulders, drop them right down. And come in. And extend it out. And come in. And extend. And in. Good. Extend. And in. One more time. Nice tall spine, stretch those fingers. And now the palms are gonna go flat. We're gonna extend the arms out slightly. And very gently bring the hands in. Turn the palms back to each other and squeeze out. Palms facing forward, come in. So drop the shoulders down. Shoulders are nowhere near the ears. Coming in, turn, and out. Good. Forwards, turn, back. Forwards. Two more, we should feel a, a nice warmth now in the arms and the shoulders. And last one, wonderful, drop those hands down and now just pop the fingertips on top of the shoulders and we're going to draw like a dinner plate um, circle with those elbows so we're just stretching out, rounding out the neck, keeping everything long, stretch up, come down, good, three, and tall once again take a deep breath in and breathe out and in and out little breathing exercise pop the um, middle fingers together and pop the hands onto the rib cage just take a deep breath in and see how the fingers move away from each other and then when we breathe out they come back in and again breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And last time, big breath in. And breathe out. Very good. Now come to pop the fingertips to the side. We're going to very gently lower down. So from here, I would suggest you can grab a cushion if you want to. Just to pop that with your head. If you haven't got one, don't worry too much. Or if you've got a yoga block or Pilates block, even better. So from the feet here, the hip width apart, hands down, we're just going to roll the spine down, relaxing the neck, and then hugging the knees into the chest and giving a good little rock from side to side. Now from here, we're going to pop the feet hip width apart. So if we start with the knees and feet together and then pop the heels out and the toes forwards and we're just going to check in with our pelvises. So if we tuck under, that means our back is completely flat into the mat. Okay, we can't get any fingers under there. Pop your fingertips underneath the hip bones, push down. Between the back and the mat, we're going to find that space. Okay, so let's practice this a few times. This is a little bit tricky for brand new to Pilates, so don't worry if you don't quite get it straight away. I promise you, you will, okay? So if we tuck it under, no fingers, fingertips down, push, you'll feel the spine lengthen, we can get fingers under there. We don't want to push too much and lift the chest up, the rib cage is down, okay? So we have a little play around here, and then what I want you to do is hands on the floor and then unpinch the shoulder blades. Okay, the way say shoulders are very tight parts of the body, we want to relax even when we're laying, okay? So feet are nice and flat on the floor. I'm going to rise the arms up, so palms are facing each other. I want you to pretend someone's got a little string around your middle finger, and we're just going to squeeze up, and then lower the hands back down. So lift it up, and lower. Lift up and lower down. So squeeze and lower. Lift and lower. So my arms are not bending, 
it's just the tip of the shoulder blade coming off the mat and we'll do four And one, keeping the arms up, we're just going to allow the right arm back, left hand down, nice and long, and gently squeeze them up. And again, coming down, and lifting up, and behind. So this is very good for shoulder mobility. And coming down, good, lift. So connect with the breath here, think of that rib cage, breathe in. Breathe out lower and lift it up and lower and lift and lower and coming up for good and behind and then arms up and gently lower the hands back down. Okay, from here we're going to work now with the legs, so keeping that pelvis nice and still. We're going to extend the left leg out nice and long, and then we're going to bring it back in. Okay, keeping that pelvis still. So this is where it gets tricky. If you want to keep your hands underneath so we slide that leg away and come back in and keep going here. So if you want to stick here, you can do, but if not, we can lift the arms up and opposite arm to leg. So right leg down, left arm behind and lift. Keeping that pelvis really still, fingertips nice and long. Good, sliding it away, come back up, four. Three, two, and one. Good, hands come back down. Now we're just going to move the pillow away and practice our curl up. So these, these look like a sit up, but again, we're keeping the pelvis really still. So if you need to do a quick pelvis check here, I would. Put the hands behind the back, behind the head, sorry, elbows nice and wide, feet on the floor. Take a nice deep breath in and breathe out, nod that chin, squeeze, lift up, look towards the knees and lower down. And again, nod, squeeze up and lift and lower, good, nod the chin, lift up and lower. We've got four here, using that breath, breathe and out. Help. Keep the elbow wide, don't pull on the neck and nod. Remember, if you do core exercises and you feel this in your neck, you are working your neck and not your core, so you need to readjust or take a breather. And two more, lift and lower and again nod, lift, just hold it here for three, two, one, lower down, well done, hug those knees in, rock from side to side. Okay, bring that pillow back, pelvis back into neutral, and we're going to just do some work into the hips. Again, this is quite a challenge for the pelvis, so we'll just work one leg at a time, okay? So you've got the knee in line with the hip and the knee in line with the ankle, and from this hip, you want to imagine that someone's hands are around the hip, and they're going to just pop the foot on the floor from the hip joint. So it's not coming from the knees, it's coming from the hip. So you should feel like your hip is really working now. And the right side, knee in line with that hip. Take a deep breath in and breathe out, tap it down. Feel it in the core, lift up, keep the left leg really still. Tap and lift, tap and lift, tap and lift. Coming 
from that hip joint, pelvis is still lift, tap, and up, tap, and up, three, and up, two, keep going, doing really well, last one, and lift, foot down, soles the feet together, knees come out nice and wide, stretch out the inner thighs, and now clasp the hands together, bring the knees in, take a deep breath in, Breathe out, butterfly the arms and the knees. And come back. And again, lift. And up. And again, extend down. And come up. Fabulous. Now push your hands into the mat. We're going to come over now onto our hands and knees. So we're going to have the wrists in line with the shoulders, knees in line with the hips. We're going to stick those glutes out to make sure our pelvis is in neutral. Relax the toes and remember that box between the hand and the knees. Take a deep breath in and nod round through the spine. Nod the chin towards the chest but don't let the chin touch. Push up into the hands. Round, stretch up and look forward. Two more, nod round, stretch and forward and nod round. Lift, lift, lift. Good, and come down. And now we're going to come to lay onto our front and work into the back. So the back is a very delicate part of our bodies. A lot of people have back pain, um, shoulder pain, so please be very careful if you have any existing injuries. Just go very light and listen to your body. So start with the feet together. This time, we're popping the toes out and then the heels and relaxing the knees onto the floor. And we're going to make a diamond shape with our finger and our thumb, and elbows are nice and wide. Pop the forehead onto the floor and peel the nose off and squeeze up and lower so you are not looking forward i want you to imagine someone pulling your t-shirt up to the sky so peel it off squeeze up and then gently lower you need to move the elbows out a little bit wider for more comfort that's fine so lift and then come back down Just activated all the muscles in the back and in the spine and lower. Good. Peel and lift and lower. And again, lift and lower. Wonderful. Now extend the arms out long, extend the feet out. The forehead starts on the floor. We again peel the nose off, looking directly at the mat. And we're going to lift the right arm up, squeeze, and lower it down. And the opposite arm, lower. One leg, and lower. And the other leg, and lower. And again, breathe out, lift up, and lower. Other arm, lower. Lift up, and lower. So, lift up. again, breathing out, down, down, lifting up, keep the neck nice and long in line with that spine, and one more time, lift, Push the hands up, sink down, stretch your arms forwards. And come up. We're going to work now into the hips and legs. So if you come to lay down onto your left side, pop your head into your hands right hand tuck the rib cage under 
So we're not leaning into the back. And we're going to bend the knees and we're going to keep the inner foot there connected to the other foot, okay? So pop the hand onto the hip, push it away so you feel a nice long lengthening in that waist. And then just squeeze that top leg up and lower. So we do not want this top leg going right out, us twisting in our spine. We're keeping it up and nice and long. So squeeze and down. Lift and down. Squeeze and down. Lift and down. Squeeze and down. Three, two, and one. Extend the legs out nice and long. And again, make sure the rib cage hasn't um, tucked under or rolled back into the back of the mat. And then just bring the feet out in front of you slightly. So push that heel up into the air and then slowly lower it back down. And again, lift up and slowly lower. And squeeze. And lower. into the hips and the thighs and now sit yourselves up and we're going to go on to the other side so right hand in extend those knees pop that hand under the rib cage head relaxes in the hand hand onto that hip push it away and then that top leg just comes up so it only comes up as high as the hip will allow it to Squeeze and down. Good lift. Good squeeze. Squeeze. Good three, two, and one. Extend the legs out nice and long. Bring the feet in front. Squeeze that leg up. And lower. And lift. And lower. Breathe it out, and down, squeeze, and down, squeeze, and down, three, two, and one, good, lower it down, bring it in front, just massage into that hip, and the legs. Okay, great. Now we're going to um, lay onto our backs and finishing off our final exercise with our uh, spine curl, we call them. So feet together, heels out, toes forward, pelvis still starts in neutral. So remember, fingers underneath the back, there's a the gap. Hands flat on the floor, unpinch the shoulder blades, push the feet firmly into the mat, tuck the pelvis, and then roll one vertebrae at a time. Lifting up, squeezing into the glutes. Imagine there's a cord from the belly button lifting you up in towards the ceiling. And now gently lower all the way back down. And again, breathe it in, tuck and lift. And then slowly lower down. And again, tuck it under, squeeze it up. Three more like this. Tuck and lift. And lower. Two. And lower. And last one, lift it up. Hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And roll under. Hug the knees in, rock from side to side. Massage in that lower back, hands onto the knees and we're just going to circle around. And then the other way, this really helps to massage the lower spine. Get a lot 
lot of movement in that lower back which is fixed which is very hard to stretch out and now pop the feet flat onto the floor pop the right ankle over that left knee pop the right hand into the right knee breathe in and breathe out push it out and push through the left heel the right heel sorry so feel a good stretch in the right hip Now bring that right knee in, push the foot in towards the ceiling, hold the back of the thigh or the calf for a deeper stretch. And then bend the knee, pop it down, left side, ankle over, hand onto that knee, breathe in, breathe out, push, push into the heel. if you would like just lay the head down now for um, an extra deep stretch you can have the soles of the feet together and the knees out and just feel the deep stretch in the inner thighs just close the eyes breathe in and breathe out and breathe in and breathe out and in and out and just carry on like this just let the forehead relax the eyes relax toes into the mat, come to sit up nice and tall, remember that posture, that nice tall spine, still keep yourself lovely and relaxed and just imagine someone pushing their fingertips down to the shoulders and tilt the right ear over to the right shoulder and into the middle and over to the left and into the middle and over to the right. Extend the arms out nice and long, lift up. Breathe out nice and slow. Now arms out in front, lift. Push into the palms, extend down. And arms out to the side, lift. And breathe out. And again, big breath in, lift up. And breathe out. Thank you so much for joining me on my mat today. I hope you enjoyed that and Pilates is getting a little bit easier for you and you're getting a little taste of everything that Pilates can offer for you. Um, please join me again very soon. If you've got any questions, please of course let me know and take care, have a beautiful day. Bye. I believe we have to look after our bodies for it's the only place that we ever really live.